welcome um, back to our channel. My name is Tara. Um, my name is Brendan. And we are BNT Reacts. And today we are checking out Family Guy Best Moments. And this is by Family Guy Compilation. Um, definitely interested to check this out. Listen, if you have ever watched Family Guy in your life, you know they say some wild, out of pocket, crazy ass shit. Um, I haven't watched Family Guy, like kept up with the newer seasons, but I have. Um, I, I used to be an ad, ad, um, like a. Is it Avid? Avid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Avid. <laughs> Fan of it when I was younger, and I, I definitely had no um, business watching that when I was younger, me and my siblings. But hey, we watched it, and you can't take it back. Anyway, uh, definitely interested to check out some of these um, best moments from Family Guy. I'm excited really to see. It. Yeah, he has to watch it. I'm I've excited seen, like, to see what they put together. That showed me. But let's get this one. Let's watch. And now back to Roundtable with Al Michaels, Harold Ramis, and Rachel Maddow. Family Guy Best Moments. Let's start with the It literally is morning, y'all. <laughs> Discarded half eaten turkey legs and an undulating rat king that no one dares approach. I have been advised to move these proceedings along as quickly as possible. Oh. Do I hear an opening bid? Anyone, do I hear an opening bid for this majestic fiberglass castle facade masking what was once a Midas muffler shop? Two bits. Two bits. That's 25 cents in the old west. We have 25 cents. cents. Do I hear higher than 25 cents? This paper bag, which could be full of money or my sharks. <laughs> you take the chance. We have an intriguing mystery bag. Do I hear more than the mystery bag? mystery bag? Not the mystery bag. Bits in a cardboard box, <laughs> which may or may not contain a mystery bag. Already the most <laughs> challenging auction I have ever been a part of. Do I hear a higher bid? This is so fucking stupid. This is so stupid. There? 50 kroner. <laughs> Which converted to American currency is seven dollars and forty cents. Mm. Do I hear a much higher bid followed by shocked murmuring? Ten thousand dollars. We had to go that high. So Nobody else was going that high. We can't afford that. Peter, do something. I can't. There's only nine thousand dollars in the mystery bag. Due to my 12 noon court appointment as part of a crippling child custody battle with my horrific ex-wife, I am saying going once, going twice, and awarding this condemned building to you! Our next spelling bee contestant is Omar Mahajarifa, something September 11th. All right, Omar, your word oh is my. candy. Oh my. Candy. C-A-N-D-Y. Candy. That's correct. Our next contestant is Peter Griffin. Peter, your word Why is you in a tree. Piece? Can you use it in a sentence, please? There is a tree by the lake. Huh. Can you use it in a dirty sentence? Hmm. I like to bring transient hookers to the old oak tree where I asphyxiate myself at the same time I'm watching them have sex with each other. T-R-E-E. -E, tree. What the right. fuck? <laughs> Peter. Did he say tree? We're now down to our final two competitors. Peter Griffin no, and Omar T -R -E -E. North Tower. Omar, you'll no, be going first. Like, your word no, is... Like, Oh, I didn't. I... C O. What was the word? I don't know. G A. Oh, I'm sorry, Omar. That you could spell box cutter. I'm nine years old and I'm Indian. <sighs> All right, Peter. If you spell your next word correctly, you win the competition. Your word is lesbians. Can you use it in a sentence? The two lesbians are going shopping. Can you use it in a dirty sentence? The two lesbians are going shopping for double-sided marital aids. Damn. Mm. Wait, can you use it in a libelous sentence? Gillian Anderson and Helen Hunt are lesbians. L-E-S-B-I-A-N-S. Correct. We now return to slightly too early comedy club audience member. Not like when Clinton was in the White House, huh? When Clinton was in the White House, all you needed to vote was a piece of duct tape. And a... <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> but things are different with the Republican majority. They're totally in the pocket of the oil companies. I mean, the President of the United States might as well be. <laughs> Amen! I'm a central man! Why not, right? But I guess it could be worse. The other day, my wife asked me if her ass looked fat in her jeans. And I'm like, honey. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Wow. Would you be annoyed? Yeah, I, that was <laughs> The bride and groom have written their own vows. Oh, no. 
Rachel, what? I love you. And today we merge our lives, our hearts, and our fraudulent home businesses. Mort, may my plant of fasciitis... I don't know Mort got remarried. ...our tree of love. Mm. We will reshape our lives together. You know Mort, wife died. Even when she died in the... Um, my calves daily. The I am so we happy to oh, be yeah. merging mm. the napkins in my pockets with the napkins in your pockets. Rachel, what with you fun? by my side, there is no Christmas display that I can't sue the city over. Uh -huh. I vow to keep you nourished by filling our home with the worst wine in the world and preparing potatoes and applesauce, just like nobody. Oh my and God. I vow to adorn our walls with only brown art from the 70s. Mort, we're two peas in a pod. We just go together. You are the plastic covering to my furniture. And you are Not the, the little spit covering. bubble in the corner of my mouth. Mort, you are my forever person. Oh. May we continue to have no respect for other drivers on the road and view stop signs as suggestions. And Rachel, you are my forever person. Oh. And may my dead ex-wife's uncle's Netflix account continue to be fruitful to us for many years to come. Mort, do you take Rachel to be your wife in sickness and in sickness? I do. And Rachel, do you take Mort to be your husband in bad times and bad? I do too. Stewie, what's going on with you? I just found all that very moving. <laughs> oh, sorry to interrupt. I just came to clear the search history off my computer before the IT guy. Uh, he's already got it. Boy, <laughs> you're really all in on Asa Akira. Way off, pal. This is the only place I can masturbate. Where's mm. Dad? It's Arthur's birthday today at the brewery. Ever since your father was put in charge, he's been taking it very seriously. Okay, Brian, what do you got for me? Okay, birthday jokes. We may be colleagues, but there's no one in your league. Boy, that's a brick off the backboard. Chris, <laughs> what do you got? I drove the family to Disneyland for vacation, and when we got off the highway, the sign said Disneyland left. So we drove back home. Chris, that's going in the show. See that, Brian? Don't be afraid to pull a hot string. What the fuck? And don't you think so you might dumb. be putting too much time into your office birthdays and not enough into your job? Come on, Lois. It's the one thing I look forward to at work. It's the one thing I'm good at. I am to birthdays what J.K. Rowling is to now problematic wizard stories. <laughs> Perhaps Slytherin, or maybe Hufflepuff, uh, or trans women aren't really women. Oh my Wait, god. What? I mean, uh, the first two things. What okay, the who's the next girl or boy? There's only those two. What the fuck? Oh my god, okay. Um, <laughs> what did you think of this? Um, it was, it was, it was okay. It was fine. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It was there were some parts where I laughed. Some parts were funny. Um, but I don't know. I have tried to watch Family Guy. I don't really like it. But I guess it's just not for me. Yeah. Um. I I would say Family Guy has changed a lot throughout the years. Um. There are a lot of moments in here that I did not even recognize. Um. Majority of them. I I, I don't even remember some of these moments. Um. I feel like it. Now it 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 like drifted away from like being like funny and kind of being like um in a way like um the jokes like they were they were needed like the jokes were like they, they the jokes were kind of like strategic in a way and like they weren't just like saying crazy shit just to say crazy shit now i feel like they just say crazy shit just to like get the shock value and get the last um listen family guy um like i said back in the day though it, it was a show i give them that um but now i don't really keep up with it like it's it, Mm. Um, a lot of these jokes were, um, very offensive, um, incredibly offensive, like, it's crazy, um, but, I don't even know what to say, <laughs> a lot of them are cruddy, I didn't realize how, but you know what, um, it's just for all, it's just all for laughs and games, um, I, I take none of this serious, um, and I hope y'all don't take none of this serious either, just a cartoon with some fucking characters, it's, Anyway, that's all for this reaction. If you like your music, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and comment down below for more reaction requests. If you want more videos like this, or anything, I'm going to react to it. And make sure to follow us on our social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and follow both of our separate channels. You know what? Make it like a, like, like, send us like a compilation of like family guy, like, the like iconic moments or something like that. Because I got a few in my head that like, every time I think about family guy, I always think about those moments because it's just, it's, wow. 
It was such an amazing show. It's still, I'm sure it still, still is. I just don't. Anyway, that's all for this reaction. And we're out. Bye.